Hello everybody, here's another quick, uh, I guess it's kind of a, more of an info video than a tutorial. And I had a question about mapping the controls from the OUYA uh, controller in Unity. And there are a few scripts out there put out by people uh, that either have been working with OUYA a long time and Unity. And uh, a long time has been, you know, what, six months or so. And I believe actually someone who works for OUYA is working on a Unity plugin that also works with the controllers. Uh, which is great. I haven't actually checked those out yet, but feel free to go to the OUYA developer site and check those out yourself. Uh, but I have a lot of games that just use the input manager, so I don't really want to go around screwing around with scripts and everything else. I just want to be able to update my input manager and export my game to OUYA and just play with it with the, the controller that comes with OUYA. So I've gone ahead and actually taken a look at the inputs that you get from OUYA. Oh, the OUYA controller, and I'm going to go ahead and share those with you today. So for those that don't know, the OUYA controller is basically, uh, let's put it in frame maybe. <laughs> I guess we got to go this way. My display here is mirrored. But anyway, yeah, it's basically a clone of the Xbox uh, controller. You have your basic four buttons, your two analog sticks, your D-pad, uh, bumpers and triggers, and one power button. Not that you'd actually probably need two power buttons, but anyway, it's very early for me, so uh, we're gonna go ahead and take a look to see what I mapped. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to my desktop here. Let me go ahead. And we're gonna go ahead and look at this little scene I have set up here. Let me just move some stuff around here. Uh, basically, I want one script that controls all of the movement, either it be desktop or uh, for OUYA. So as you can see here, I just got a little cube, it just flies around on the screen. You can make it jump up, make it go down. Nothing special. But it's using all the input commands. Let's actually go ahead and take a look at the script. Uh, right here. And this is pretty much an exact copy of uh, the input access demo that they have on the Unity page. Sorry, the input dot uh, get access. Right here. So if you can look that up in the Unity page, I think it's pretty much verbatim up to here. Then I went ahead and added a couple buttons just to you know figure out what exactly what buttons are mapped there. And let's go back into Unity. We're gonna go ahead, open up the project settings input. And the ones you really wanna be concerned with are the ones down at the bottom here, because these are the ones set for well, your joystick. And the ones up here are uh, for your keyboard and mouse. Now you can go ahead, uh, we've done tutorials on playing around with the Input Manager before and Unity has a really good uh, write-up on their website as well. So uh, you can go ahead and actually redo this whole thing if you want. I know a few of my games are customized here, but let's go ahead and we'll open up the horizontal. And what's important is the part down here. Uh, it's a type joystick axis and for horizontal, basically rotating, I have it set to the third axis, which is actually the, the second analog joystick. And for moving vertical, we have it set to the Y axis, which of course is another joystick axis, which is the first one. So when I was mapping all these out, I kind of thought it was a little weird. And let's go back into Mono Develop. Uh, I guess while we're here, we'll take a look at the buttons as well. So I only use fire button one and two. I haven't actually set three up. It really depends on what game you're making. You may want to go ahead and just map every single uh, control. Now I don't know a way to export your input manager. Reset it. Like it'd be great if you could export it and just import it. Uh, I'm eventually just gonna end up writing a script that sets all these up for me. Or at least take a look at the one that's already written. Maybe I won't have to, but anyway. Uh, let's take a look at a button close down the axis and you just take a look here the big thing is you know button one or sorry button zero and my fire two is set to uh, button three and let's go ahead and actually take a look to see what those are so we'll head back into mod develop and I've written them all up here so here we go the OUYA controls the left joystick uh, I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my joystick cam. oh I do have the joystick cam on didn't know I had that on. But anyway, the left joystick up here, 
Not sure I'm getting enough light. Anyway, the best I can do right now, I didn't want to set up any more cameras, but anyway, the left joystick here is referred to as the Y axis. Uh, the left joystick, when the butt, when it's held down, because it, it's actually a button as well, uh, is referred to as the X axis. So while you move it around, uh, if you want that in your game, you would want to use the X axis. Uh, the right joystick, the analog one, is referred to as the third axis and also the fourth axis. Now I could not find the axis where the right one is held down so it might not be giving out or uh, for some reason I just couldn't detect it. And if we go back into Unity, uh, just take a look at the horizontal, we'll see I have it set to third axis. So I went through and tested them all and here's what I came up with. So the O button is joystick button one and then they proceed to go around clockwise so sorry it's button zero button one button two button three and then it goes over to the left bumper uh, which is this one right here button four then to the right button our uh, right bumper which is uh, button five and then the triggers the left and right triggers uh, for some reason they're being picked up as analog or axis as well and I did some tests and it didn't seem to actually be analog as in if you held it down a little bit it moved a little bit if you held it down a lot it moved a lot I didn't do a whole lot of testing I, I realized I probably need to do more but anyway it was showing up as joystick button 12 and also the fifth axis uh, but of course it can only move one direction there is no negative to it and the same thing for the right trigger it was showing up as an axis and also a button uh, so now the d-pad oh sorry pressing the left stick because that is a button as well it would show up as joystick button six and the right stick showed up as button seven so the actual clicking of the button on the right stick does show up uh, but it doesn't show up as an axis if you hold it down and try to move it around. Again, I just did not find it. Another D-pad did show up as buttons as well, which is what I expected it to. So they're 8 through 11, depending on well which one you want. And then down here are the axis that uh, the input manager has that I did not find anything mapped to. And of course, if any of these are wrong, let me know down below in the comments so I can update this. Uh, but anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at this script in action. I'm going to go ahead. I will do a build. I'm going to go ahead and, well, I guess we'll leave the camera on. But I am going to go switch over to Ouya while this builds. And we'll get the joystick. Try to hold it out far enough that you can actually see. Okay, so it's setting it out to... Oh yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just get rid of my desktop. And here we go, we have the little cube. So moving side to side on this stick does nothing. But moving side to side on this one will rotate it. Uh, moving forward and back on this one is the way I have it set up. So you know you can still race around. Woo! Then of course I have the buttons uh, O and A mapped. Uh, we want to go this way. So you can jump up jump down so there you go uh, if you're using the input controller and you're building something for Ouya and you don't want to be bothered with uh, changing the scripts and you just want to update the input manager uh, hopefully those values will help you again I'll show them just here at the end uh, let's go ahead we'll stop the, the little quick demo here no one beats me at Q racing <laughs> so let's go ahead we'll bring this up and I'll switch over to mono develop one more time and we'll end with that just so you can see everything I'll go ahead, we'll close down the, the the keyboard or not the keyboard cam the joystick cam but anyway it wasn't hard to figure them out it just took a little while but anyway hopefully that helps someone out there thanks a lot bye bye
Thank you.